So we saw that every single life form that you see is because of this one atom called carbon and its ability to form bonds in a very, very large manner. Now the question is, right, what's so unique about this, this person called carbon? So don't you think it's about time we became friends? Now I'm already friends with her, so I'm going to introduce you to her and we want you to become friends with her as well. So it's going to happen soon, but before you become friends, I want you to, I want to warn you about something. Yeah, she's very friendly. So it's not going to be hard for you to become friends with her. In fact, she might be a little too friendly and you'll find out what I mean by that. Now, but before we do this, before you become friends with someone, what you need to know is to get to know them, right? So let's begin to get to know our carbon. So as you can see, right, she's a pretty weird person. She has electrons running around her head. That's kind of weird. But if you notice, and if you look at the number of protons, you see six protons. And if you see the number of electrons, because the atom is going to be neutral, she's, she's going to have six electrons. Now, going back to all that we know, right, about how difficult it is and how easy it is to kill, kick out electrons from our chapter called metals and non-metals, you know that eventually all that understanding boils down to what? Every atom tries to attain a noble gas state. In other words, a complete shell. It wants to have a complete shell. It does not want to have half-filled shells, right? So, which is why sodium lets go of its electron very easily and chlorine attracts an electron very easily because they all want to become full shells. Now, I know I don't like to put it this way, right? They want to become full shells. No, but you know what happens, why that happens. You already know that. So right now, we don't have to get into that very deeply. So we're going to refer to it that way, that all of them want to become complete shells. Why? You already know. So here, but this is very unique, right? So you have first shell of ours, you can see there are two electrons. And in the second shell, there are four. So overall, there are six. But how many can there be in the second shell? Eight, right? So there are four empty spots. So there are two ways now for carbon to become stable, right? She's looking for some stability in her life like everybody else is. So she can either lose four electrons and become just one shell with just two electrons. Ah, that would be interesting. Or she could do something else. Let's see what happens if we try to do that. Let's try and make her attain a full shell by losing electrons. So let's say we're able to remove the first electron, yeah? And then that was not so, not so difficult, somewhat easy. But as we try to move, remove the second electron, it's becoming harder. Now, why am, I, why am I finding this so hard? If you think about it, the moment I removed the first electron, there were six protons, right? Now, the moment I removed the first electron, she became positively charged. Now, that means I'm going to feel a larger and larger electrostatic pull from her, right? Because unlike charges, attract. So now the electrons are feeling more and more attraction. So I have two with me. That itself was hard. If I have to pull the third one, it's going to be even harder. So as I try to pull the third carbon out, it's, it's becoming harder and harder. Oh my God, because the, the pull is becoming more and more and more. Because there are six protons now and only two in the outermost shell. And now, now that you have removed one more, there's only one. So you successfully removed three. It's going to be virtually impossible to remove that as well because it's going to be so much force. But let's try to do that, right? Uh, now, okay, we don't even have enough force to do that. And the moment you leave it, it's going to snap back in. So there is one way to attempt to do this, right? Which is, let's give her back her electrons. Let's make her a little more stable, right? There's one way to do this. Try to take the electrons out, but it's quite unstable, right? A C4 plus ion, right? A carbon without four electrons becomes a carbon with four positive charges, right? That is huge. It's going to be extremely unstable. They're going to attract an electron from somewhere. Okay, fine. Let's try the other approach where we try and give her some electrons. So that should be relatively easy, right? Compared to this. So let's, okay. I seem to be carrying some electrons around. That wasn't funny at all, but yeah. So let's, let's take a few electrons that we have and let's begin to see. You take the first one amongst them. Relatively simple to place it. You know, works pretty well. The second one, before I go, I notice that now the atom has six protons, but seven electrons. So it is negatively charged. So all the electrons are beginning to repel me. They're saying, don't come close to me, but I'm going to try hard. So I'm trying and pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm trying to find her. Huh. Okay, the second one. That, that was a little harder than I expected. So I expect the third one to be, that's right, even more difficult. Right? Because now there are two negative charges. They're going to try and push me off really, really well. And as expected, I need to put as much as I can into this. And yes. <sighs> need a break. Let's try the last one. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be extremely hard. Yeah. Oh my God. 
the moment you enter that area, it's going to get pushed so badly because there are three electrons there, extra, three negative charges that are pushing you hard. The point of no return has already been reached. It's very, very difficult to do this. In other words, ah, finally, right? The moment you leave it, what happens? Yeah, it is so unstable that it's going to blast away because there's so much negative charges. Uh, this is not what happens really, but what we're trying to say is that both the carbon four plus or the carbon four minus are very, very unstable. Yeah, she's going to find it very hard to remain in that state. So the point we're trying to make here is she really hasn't doesn't have too much choice. She can't really lose four electrons. She can't really gain four electrons as well. If you notice, you're already beginning to understand what's unique about her, right? Yeah, somebody else has only two electrons, easy to give, or they have seven electrons. They only need one more, easy to get. But she's right in the middle, right? In order to give, she has to give four. In order to get, she has to get four. Very, very difficult.